Presenting the Angelo Vickers. Hi. Hello. Did I want to be made manager? Sure. A great opportunity squandered? Absolutely. A crushing blow? Yes. Will I get over it? Mm. No. But life goes on. Not for me. I just don't understand why I wasn't even interviewed for the job. I mean, what's wrong? I'm totally qualified. You were pushing for me. How do I become a manager at Sabre? Get a recommendation from Michael. That'll put you right on the short list for next time there's an opening. Can't you just use the recommendation you already have on file? What recommendation? From when he recommended me to replace him. <laughs> um, I'm, so I'm sorry, I never know how to act in these awkward type situations. So as you know, the Dunnies are my legacy. So I'm going to need to train a replacement. So this year, I have decided to have a co-host. And that person is... D'Angelo! Always the Padawan, never the Jedi. Dwight Schrute, please accept this promising assistant manager, Dundee. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, I want to dedicate this award to something that uh, we take for granted in our daily lives, and that is the humble trash can. This is for you, trash can. You know, despite a couple hiccups, I thought that went very well. I thought it was the worst Dundies I've ever been to. Man, maybe you should have won the kind of a bitch award. <laughs> oh, gladly. I'd accept that award because a bitch is a female dog. What? What are you doing? Ah! What? Woo! Please don't stop so suddenly. Seatbelt's pressing on my bladder. Why are you even wearing a seatbelt? You're sitting in the back seat, baby. It's... What is your problem? I just don't see the point of the Dundies, okay? The jokes are terrible, the venue is bad, the fashion was boring. Okay, that, that is unfair. The clothing was safe, but tasteful. And next time, why don't you pick a co-host that doesn't have microphonophobia? Hey. Look, whatever you're going to do, how long is it going to take ballpark? Because I just, I've got to make a decision here. He is in a all-out sprint. Michael? Yes? I've got a treat for you. Oh, thank you. Like a butler. Colorado specialty, Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh, those do not taste like oysters. That's because they're not oysters. They're bull testicles. Oh. I cut them off fresh this morning. <laughs> ha! Sick freak, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm the sick freak? Yeah. After what you did, you expect to be buttled? After Listen, you didn't recommend me? Dwight, I don't own Dunder Mifflin, okay? The job was not mine to give. Look, I need your advice on something. I am told that there are bears in the Rockies. Where did you hear that? Obvious XM radio? Well, I was just thinking that maybe I should keep a salami in my pocket. Great idea. In order to feed the bears. Especially if you think that life would be better without legs. How do you mean? Black bears can smell a salami at five miles, Michael. What are you thinking? And they run faster than a horse. So if you were thinking about outrunning them on a horse, I would try a cheetah. You, in tight pants, Michael, are a salami to a black bear. You understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a giant walking salami. Okay, so no salami in the pants. How about a pepperoni? Any kind of meat that you can possibly name. Okay. I've given up expecting Michael to do the right thing, or the decent thing, or even the comprehensible thing. There he is. Got your coffee. Oh, wow, thank you. That was so kind of you. Not a coffee guy, I take it, huh? It's just that I own the coffee shop. So, once you've seen sausage being made, all you want to do is make sausage, because it's so much fun. Listen, I've got a sixer, automatic for the people on the jukebox. Let's hit the park after sundown, come on. Pick up some sausage if you want. I think you'll find what you're looking for over there. No matter how many times I reach out to Dwight, he doesn't seem to want anything to do with me. It reminds me of my relationship with my son, except there, I'm the Dwight. 
You know, I have a uh, cousin who cracked the secret formula for a certain popular cola that I shall not name, so I've never had to buy it. True story. I just drink my cousins. Congratulations on your one cousin. I have 70, each one better than the last. Okay, you know what? Straight up, why, why don't you like me? I'm just not a suck up like everyone else around here, okay? I do my job well, so why don't you just leave me alone and let me do it, okay? Oh, no. What? Okay. I'm gonna win you over. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes, 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 Dwight, what's your take? What's the argument here? NBA, WNBA. One is a sport, one is a joke. I love sports, I love jokes. Room for all. Man, you're smart. Jim, are you coming? Oh, yeah, did he text us? Yeah. No! Dwight? D'Angelo wanted me to ask you if there's anything I could help you with. Really? Anything? Do you need anything? D'Angelo? Tell your whore to leave me alone. Let's go downstairs, okay? Do Let's do it. Pass. If I wanted to see a pissing contest, I'd lock Moe's in the chicken coop. Damn it, Dwight, enough! Get your ass downstairs or find a new place to sell paper! Okay, a little about me. I respond to strong leadership. Dwight, I will be leaving tomorrow. Yes. So I wanted to give you that. It's a letter of recommendation. This is gonna be good. <clears throat> to whom it may concern. Good, real personal. Thanks, Michael. The dictionary defines superlative as of the highest kind, quality, or order, surpassing all else or others supreme. That's great. If I wanted the dictionary definition, I'd by a dictionary. I define it as Dwight Fruit. As a sales executive, as a leader, as a man, and as a friend, he is of the highest kind, quality, and order supreme. Lots more like that, really repetitive. Forty-five behind the building, paintball. 